Last time on Total Drama The Top 100, the teams were tasked with going through the events of Up the Creek. Lashana tried to sabotage the team and framing it on Scott, but Scott's clever thinking allowed him to get out of a dire situation. However, it also ended with his bones being broken, so maybe he didn't get off so lucky. Dwayne tried to show his macho side and got shown up by a woman. Sean tried to recruit Tyler into his group, and Emma and Gwen are planning to take out the dweeb alliance of Zeke, Leonard, and Z. Scott is in his wheelchair and tells Junior that he has to tell the truth. He did throw the challenge to get rid of Cameron, but he wouldn't throw another challenge as it would risk him getting out, and Junior says he knows that. He proved it to him tonight that he would never throw a challenge. I mean, not many people would get put in a full body cast for their team. Scott in confessional says, mission accomplished. Lashana says that the plan didn't work. Now it's entirely up in the air what happens. Bridget goes to Harold and says after lots of consideration, he's the only option for an alliance. Harold says he appreciates the thought. He will join them as long as Scarlet can join as well. Bridget asks why her, and Harold says that Scarlet is really smart like him. The more brains, the merrier. In confessional, Harold says that he just said that because Scarlet recruited him into her alliance last night. It's the least he can do. Amber Scorpions are planning for the next challenge when Dawn says that they should put Cody up. He's small so he can fit into a good hiding spot. Sierra says that there's no way she will let that happen. He got hurt last time and he won't ever let anyone do that to his Cody bear. Dwayne says that Damien should be the seeker. He's into physics. He could probably bag a nice deer. Damien says that he doesn't know, but Dwayne tells him to give it a shot. Damien in confessional says that it's great he has someone like Dwayne to push him out of his comfort zone. He really appreciates him. Mary says that she will be the hider since she will set booby traps so she doesn't get shot. Chris welcomes everyone to their next challenge, paintball deer hunt. One member on the team will be a deer while the other is a seeker. If your deer is caught, the team who caught them gets immunity, but the seeker can still catch a deer to give their team immunity. Joe says that Noah should be the hider, but Priya says she wants to be the seeker because she has dreamed of being in Owen's position and being able to hit DJ. Duncan says sure to that as long as he isn't the deer, and Joe says that's fine as well. Priya in confessional says that she was expecting more of a fight from Joe, but I guess she is more respectful than she once thought. Joe in confessional says that she really wanted to be the seeker, but she can't argue with the one girl she wants an alliance with. Dave says he will be the deer. On mediocre mealworms, Lightning says he calls calls dibs on seeking, and Sugar and Confessional says that she can't argue with that, Lightning called dibs. Axel, Topher, and Sugar are arguing about who should be the deer, but Beth yells, saying she will be the deer. Topher and Confessional says that Beth is kinda scary when she's serious. Axel and Confessional says that she respects a leader that actually leads. Sugar and Confessional says that Beth is now on her hit list. Lightning asks if any team's deer counts, and Chris says yep, any team's. Lightning shoots Beth with his paintball gun, and Chris looks at Chef, and Chef shrugs and says that he did say anyone. Chris then says that mediocre mealworms have immunity, but only his team can do that. Lightning and Confessional says that that's why his football team has been to the playoffs for four years in a row. Out of the square thinking. Beth in Confessional says that Lightning is going down. Lashana says that DJ should be the hider unless Scott has a problem with that, and Junior tells her to stop bullying him. He helps their team win yesterday's challenge. Lashana is shocked that he's standing up to her. Sky says that she will be the seeker then. On excited Aunt Zoe says she will hide, and Zeke says he will be the seeker. Gwen says that maybe they should let someone with more experience be the seeker, but Leonard tells her that his time is nigh. Let him take up the mantle. Gwen in confessional says that he really hates the Dweeb Alliance. It's not bad enough he has Zeke, but Leonard has no grasp of reality, Z is too chill to be helpful, Tom doesn't do anything that risks staining his clothes, and Lorenzo is too busy being jealous of Chet and Ripper to care about his team. She needs a new one. Alejandro says he will be the deer, and Eva agrees before Alejandro goes to her and says that she would be an excellent hunter. Sam and Confessional asks if it's just him, or do the girls like Alejandro? On Tenacious Earwigs, Jeff says that he understands he has been a terrible leader, so now he wants them to speak up if they think they can do this. Jock says he can do this easily, but Nichelle says that what they really want to see is her. Courtney yells and tells them she will be their hider. Nichelle in Confessional says to not think she was intimidated by Courtney, she just thought Courtney would hurt her if she disagreed. Anne Maria says that she has some repressed anger, let her have the gun. Jeff in Confessional says that talking really did fix this team. Mission accomplished. On Hopping Stink Bugs, Justin says not to look at him for this, he won't risk his figure being hit by paintballs. Rondi says he has used a gun on his dad's farm, so Justin says he will be the hunter. Stephanie says she can definitely be a deer. Silent Crickets, Tyler is about to volunteer, but Bierdo tells him that he's had a little too much screen time. Let someone else have the spotlight, and he agrees. B gives a signal to be Seeker, and Sean says he will hide. 
Flaming cockroaches have Harold offering to seek, and Scarlet says she will be the deer. When the round starts, both Bee and Scarlet notice each other setting traps, and Scarlet approaches him and says that she likes his style, and he gives a finger gun to show how he thinks the same. Scarlet asks if he would be interested in an alliance in the future, and he agrees. Scarlet asks if he will give her 30 seconds to get away, and Bee agrees. Damien is walking around before noticing Alejandro, and before he can get a shot off, Eva shoots him, saying not to shoot his teammate. Harold suddenly hits Alejandro and says that was for hurting his girl. Eva then begins pelting him with shots. In confessional, Harold says he doesn't get why Eva's so mad. She acts like she didn't watch World Tour. Scarlet smiles as Chris says that flaming cockroaches have one immunity, and when she's leaving, she steps into Bee's trap purposefully, and she tells him to get immunity, and he obliges, winning Silent Cricket's immunity. Rodney looks around before seeing Mary and getting excited, walking to her before falling into a booby trap, and Mary apologizes. Zeke sees Sky and he asks how she's doing, but Sky says she has a boyfriend pushing him away. Dave sees it and asks in confessional what she means by that, not that he really cares, but he's surprised she found someone so quickly, not that he cares of course. Dave pops out and asks Sky how she's doing, and Sky says she will enjoy hitting him the way he tried to hit her in the finale, and Dave says he's sorry, he just wants to know how she's holding up, and Sky says she's just fine. She will give him 10 seconds to get out of here before she fills him with paint. Dave takes the note and is about to run away before Anne Maria hits Dave. Stephanie and Courtney are in the same spot, and instead of dealing with it like normal adults, they begin fighting over it, and Eva and Sky shoot them. Zeke is searching for a deer when he sees Mary and fires, but Rodney jumps in the way, taking the shot, and Mary runs off. Damien notices Zoe hiding, and he shoots her. Zoe in confessional says that she can't believe she failed, but they won't vote her off, right? Mary is running before she gets caught in Scarlet's trap, and Rodney shows up and she tells him to shoot her, and she doesn't care about anything besides him getting immunity. He says he can't do it, but Stephanie shows up and says that she sure can before grabbing Rodney's gun and shooting. And Rodney says that wasn't cool before Stephanie punches him and tells him he's too weak to be here. Rodney says in confessional that Stephanie has a point. He almost threw the challenge for his love. Rodney tells Mary he truly does love her, but he has to put the game first, and Mary says that that's what she was trying to tell him to begin with. Rodney says not to make this any harder than it has to be before running off crying. Priya is chasing DJ, and she's able to hit DJ after a long chase, and Priya says she has been dreaming of this since third grade, and DJ congratulates her for being able to catch him. It was more fun than Owen chasing him, at least. Chris then says that the excited ants have not won immunity, therefore they are up for elimination. Gwen is pissed, saying that he knew Zeke shouldn't have gone, and Leonard tells her to lay off him. Zeke's beating himself up enough, and Gwen asks why Leonard even teams up with those losers, and Leonard says that they understand how it feels to be the outcast not liked by anyone. He may be goofy, but at least he doesn't judge people behind their back. For being a punk goth, she sure does care about what other people think about her. He thought she was different. Gwen is shocked and says that she's sorry she has changed. Leonard offers confetti of forgiveness and friendship, and Gwen says not to push it, maybe just a little. Gwen says in confessional that they may be total losers, but at least they're happy. She has been letting the game take her to the worst places. She will be better from this point on. Emma asks which one they're gonna get out, and Gwen says that she can't vote one of them out. Emma asks why, and Gwen says that they're not as bad as she once thought. Emma goes to MK and says they have to do something, and MK says she was already on it. MK in confessional says that normally it would be a bad idea to do what she did that got her eliminated the first time, but this time it's do or die. MK goes to Leonard and the gang and tells them to watch these confessionals, and Gwen shrinks in on herself as all her past confessionals talking about them come to light. After MK leaves, Zeke and Z talk about how messed up that is. Gwen in confessional says that she's definitely going home now. Leonard says that she has changed and been enlightened. They can't frame her for what she has done. Zeke asks how he can just forgive Gwen after she had said such bad things about him specifically, and Leonard says that this isn't the same Gwen they once knew. This is Gwen the Necromancer, not Gwen the wannabe goth. Gwen at Confessional says that she kinda likes the title Necromancer. At Elimination, Chris welcomes them to their first campfire ceremony. Here, marshmallows represent life. If they do not receive a marshmallow, they must walk to the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and you can't come back. Ever. Chef, do the honors. Zeke, you were in charge of bagging a deer, but you were busy trying to bag Sky. Zoe, conversely, you were the deer and you failed. Zoe in confessional says that she definitely deserves to go home. Leonard, your larper shtick is getting old. Leonard in confessional says that he is in no danger as he is not the outcasted rogue, and that he is a wiser wizard who learned from his shortcomings. To vote him out now would be tarnishing his full potential. And Gwen, you were talking trash to your team behind their back. They may not appreciate that very much. 
And now, here is who is safe. Before the vote starts, Emma stands up and says that this vote is too risky. She's out of here. She takes out a seal of approval and hands it to Chris. Chris says that this seal of approval will allow her to go to a different team entirely. Which one do you wish to go to? Emma says she will go to the Hopping Stink Bugs. Chris says okay to that and Emma leaves. Now, Emma's vote will still count, but here's who is safe. Leonard, Tom, Z, Lorenzo, Caleb, Zeke, and Zoe, you all are safe with no votes. And now the final marshmallow will go to... Gwen. MK is shocked and asks why they would keep her in, and Leonard says that Gwen's heart is true, unlike hers. He won't allow her to divide them. MK at Confessional says she can't believe she was eliminated the same way twice. Guess she shouldn't have expected it to work after the first time. Chris tells them that a huge changeup is coming in two episodes. They better stay strong, otherwise they may all be in for a shakeup. The votes are as follows. Zeke voted MK due to Leonard's suggestion. Zoe voted MK due to Leonard's suggestion. Leonard voted MK due to not liking her tactic of trying to split the group apart. Tom voted MK due to Leonard's suggestion. Z voted MK due to Leonard's suggestion. Gwen voted MK due to Leonard's suggestion. MK voted Gwen due to Gwen betraying her original group. Emma voted Gwen due to Gwen betraying her original group. Lorenzo voted Gwen because MK gave him her bra. Caleb voted Gwen because that's where he thought the votes were going. And with that, episode 8 of Total Drama The Top 100 is finished. What did you think? Question of the week. What do you think the shakeup Chris was talking about may be? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama The Top 100.